Greek ship tour. We're going to explore the ship from the top down, deck by deck. Starting on deck 15, right at the top of the ship, this is the Serenity deck for adults only. And it is a sun deck with loungers and hot tubs, plus a bar. Deck 14. This is the spa and fitness deck. There are multiple spa and treatment rooms in the spa. And it's really nice. They have a few different steam rooms and places you can relax. You'll also find a large fitness area with equipment and also a room for classes. Deck 12 is where you'll find the splash zone and the slides, and it overlooks the pool with a walkway on both sides to the back of the ship. find the jogging track, mini golf, the ropes course, and a lot of other fun activities and sports. And at the very end of deck 12, you will see the basketball court, and there are places to sit to watch, and also, of course, the aft pool, which is great. Deck 11. This is one of my favorite decks because there are great places to sit and watch activities and simply watch time go by. I actually really love these chairs right by the pool. I've turned them around and watches come into port and it was great. But also just to have a fun and comfortable spot to see the activities or maybe even watch a movie. There's definitely a variety of places to sit on deck 11 and I love that, you know, you can watch the ocean or you can watch the activities, so it's great. And even coming back to the aft of the ship, you have places back here too. And inside deck 11 is the Italian restaurant, Cucina del Capitano. It is actually a well-themed classic Italian and it overlooks the buffet. It's available for lunch for free as pasta bella. It's like a quick service lunch. And also it's available for dinner for a cost. But you know what is my favorite meal? I love this place. It's so cute. It's awesome and it's delicious. And if you're lucky, maybe you'll get a window view so you can just sip your wine and enjoy a lovely sunset. You'll also find the kids clubs on deck 11. Deck 10. This deck is the main pool deck and the aft pool deck, and then there are a lot of food options. The main pool deck is really nice. There's room for a lot of loungers, and they do have a couple of bars, which of course, Sail Away Day is always the busiest, but they're really great, and it's a good time. Also, right by the pool is Guy's Burgers and Blue Iguana Cantina, which you can get your burritos and tacos. Deck 10 also has the buffet, which is inside seating, so it'll be nice and cool. They have a deli, they have a Mongolian walk, they have a really nice salad bar, and of course, a lot of other food options. At the back of the ship is the aft pool. It's a smaller pool, but it's great. There's still lots of space and seating around the pool. They have a couple of hot tubs. it's a great view off the back of the ship. They also do have a bar and they have pizza. And of course you can get pizza right here, but you can order a pizza on your app. It's a little charge to deliver to you, but you can get pizza and other things uh, right through your app. And they do also have seafood shack. And I actually like the seating out here. Sometimes it can be kind of warm, but it's kind of nice. And deck nine, eight, seven, and six are cabin decks. So we will move to deck five. There's a lot on this deck inside and out, and we're gonna start at the Spotlight Lounge, which is used for comedy mostly. 
and right next to the Spotlight Lounge is the Steakhouse with four to ceiling windows. Alright, next is the Piano Bar, and this is a very fun place to hang out, you guys. Lots of fun and loud music, and it's just great. This promenade has great seating and is relatively quiet. The Red Frog Pub is a fun spot. They do often have a guitar soloist, and of course they have great drinks and bar games. And along the promenade you will find Sushi at Sea, which is a little extra cost, but they'll give you a buzzer and then it'll notify you when your sushi is ready so you can take it back to your seat and enjoy, and it's delicious. And of course, the coffee bar. I may have visited this place uh, several times during my cruise, but it's great to have that, and it's right next to Ocean Plaza. And Ocean Plaza is used for music and trivia, and it's really a nice large space to meet up with your friends. All right, and right off the of Ocean Plaza is the Alchemy Bar, where you can find your handcrafted cocktails. Before we do a little more exploring on Deck 5, I'm going to take you outside because there's some fun things out here. There's a hot tub on each side of the ship and also pig and anchor so you can get your barbecue lunch. And you can also walk to the back of the ship for a great view. And there's even more seating around deck five outside on the promenade, which is great. There's a smoking section and there's other seats where you can enjoy. All right, and back inside next to Ocean Plaza on Deck 5 is the Casino. They have a variety of slot machines, and they do have a bar and table games. And just outside the Casino are the fun shops. So you have all the sparkly things and all the things you might need and want right here surrounding the atrium. on deck five is the upper deck of the theater. Deck four. There's nice seating by the atrium on this level. And down the hall is the non-smoking casino. level of the main dining room and the chef's table. And here's the library. It's actually a nice quiet place to come if you want to get away from the music. And they have a couple of my favorite chairs on the ship. And down the hall you'll find the teen club and the arcade. with the bar and some really nice seating and they also do have the shore excursions and guest services desk and deck three also has the main dining room so this would be the lower level of the main dining room and you'll find the lower level of the theater as well we're going to take a look at the interior cabin. This is actually quite spacious and there's a lot of storage in this room. today. Thank you guys so much for coming along.